could we possibly be turning the page and could all this rhetoric of inactive pool just not come to fruition at all? You will have to stick around and see what I'm talking about. And I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel. And today we are talking about inactive pool at Lake Powell. And we also be doing Lake Mead as well, Lake Mojave and Havasu today. Let's start off by looking at the snowpack. We are at the snowpack in the upper Colorado. 2019 was the highest snowpack we had in quite a while. That has been three years since we've had a good snowpack and ever since then this was the snowpack last year right here the one i'm on 2020 here's your snowpack for last year you can see it's well below average you can see right now we are 4.45 feet above average so this thing is above average this year it started off to a pretty good start we will see what it ultimately ends up happening we need it to be well above average we need at least 25 feet so right now even though it's it's 113.12% above the December 9th average, so it's up by 13.12%, basically is what they're getting at here. It's only 27.68% for your April 6th average, which is the last day. So we have a long way to go. We need that to be absolutely 100% past April 6th average, so we have a decent snowpack is what we need. We need it to be like 115% on April 6th instead of 27.68 percent at this time so it will increase as the time goes on will the lake come to an active pool an active pool means power loss they are predicting by july that it's a possibility that the lake could possibly come to inactive pool and if it does that means the little town of page will lose water as well and the reason why they will lose it is because their pipe is right at an active pool as well so if this really comes to fruition then that's bad deal because page will lose water because there will be no water it has fallen on deaf ears for congress they haven't done a thing last i look which is earlier they said that 7.5 million gallons of water goes down to Lake Mead, which was supposed to be seven. They only released seven last year, and still nine million being released out of Lake Mead. So between Powell and Mead, it's just letting more water than the basin can handle. They should only be releasing seven million or six would be ideally until things change. As we roll out to windy.com, you can see that there is good news coming for the southwest as there is many areas up here that are going to receive quite a bit of precipitation in the next five that'll be a good start to start off we're going to start over here in colorado like we always do and we're going to go to montrose 2.7 aspen 4.6 vel 3.5 steamboat springs four inches cozy three tell you ride 5.4 we go down to page they're going to get two we go over to canab and they're going to get four st george over here is going to get four so you can see just to the north of st george they're going to get a spot of 12 so this is good news for the colorado river we need more snow over here we go to the gfs the next five and it's a different tell they're saying that there's going to be a heck of a lot more snow in the next the next five days 7.4 even over to the east of Denver, which is on the other side of the divide, is 8.6, but Telluride, 9.3. We go down to Canab, 2.7, St. George. Las Vegas could even possibly get almost an inch of snow. We'll be waiting to see if that happens. And my friends down at Havasu, you're not going to get any snow whatsoever, so that's good news. We go to the next 10 days, and you can see this thing even gets wilder. They're talking possibly 15 inches. Let's hope the GFS has a better handle on it in the European because if this really comes to pass this is going to be a good snowmaker for the mountains they could use another 17.6 inches tell you right over here 18.7 could we possibly be turning the page and could all this rhetoric of inactive pool just not come to fruition at all let's hope let's hope that this is correct I don't want to get too antsy about it because it is 10 days out so keep that in mind and let's go see how much you're supposed to get at page page is supposed to get 11.2 St. George over here is 12, Canab 13.6. So we'll see if this, this all runs to the Colorado River, Tuba City down here, and Flagstaff even gets in on the action 12.7. They're generally wet from Page to the south. We'll go to Lake Mead as it's beyond Lake Powell. So we'll see what happens. And let's just hope this is correct, accurate, and it continues 
to keep coming over and over. Look at California. We'll be talking about that in an upcoming video, but they're going to get hammered with more precipitation, and I have a lot of good information coming down the pike for that as well. So let's see what the snow depth is currently in the Rockies. The snow depth in the Rockies as we go to Aspen first, 30. Steamboat Springs, 26. Like I said, it's above average right at the moment. So this is fantastic. We go to Peoria, 11.6. We go to Grand Junction, 3.3. We come down to Telluride, 17.6. Montrose as well. So this is good news. Over here, you have 28.4. You can see that the Green River here, it's not really too much snow as it was last year. Now, they do got 45 inches at the beginning of the Green River, so that's good news. But we have to monitor every mountain that there is. We come down here, Navajo Dam area. They're talking 20 inches at the headwaters, so that's good. Everything here, the Continental Divide's right along in here, so everything over here goes to the east. Everything over here comes to Lake Navajo, so we'll see. They got 1.3. They got a good... Start. We come over back to new snow coming in 8.4. So you can see they're going to get possibly 3.2. And this is the European. We come over here and they're, they're talking big difference. So we'll see which one wins out. Like I said, this is a very long way out. We come over here to Gunnison, 8.9. Gunnison we also watch as well. So we'll be watching this entire system to see which one wins. Generally one of them wins. Let's go check the water levels over at Lake Powell next. As we start off at Lake Powell water level, the water level at Lake Powell is 3,527.27 feet MSL Thursday, December 8, 2022 at 12 a.m. The level is 172.73 feet below full pool of 3,700. It continues to fall, changes since yesterday, 0.7. Let's go over and see what's going on at Lake Mead. Lake Mead's water level is at 1,443.32 feet MSL Friday, December 9, 2022 at 8 a.m. The level is 185.68 feet below full pool of 1,229. Changes since yesterday, evened off. It's at a zero. So this time of year, generally, it starts to increase. So we'll see if that starts to come to fruition this year. And let's go down to Lake. Let's go down to Lake Mojave next. Lake Mojave's current water level 640.29 feet MSL. Friday, December 9, 2022, 8:45 a.m. The level is 6.71 feet below full pool of 647 this thing's on the increase 0 0.03 feet in the last 24 hours and down to lake havasu to my friends down there supercharge and brad hello everybody i hope everybody's doing well the last stop of the day lake havasu lake havasu's water level is currently 448.02 feet msl friday december 9 2022 at 8 30 a.m the level is 3.02 feet above full pool of 445 changes since yesterday 0 0.07 you guys have a fantastic day and we will see you on the next one probably tomorrow with a lake oroville update god bless